This is Pastor Steve with an encouraging word. You miss baseball? I do. I've been a fan of the game since a young boy, playing it growing up in little leagues and high school and, of course, watching many a game at the ballpark or on television, most often with my father. I was thinking back to one time when I was probably about 11, 12 years old. Went to the baseball game to see the Richmond Braves. I grew up in Virginia and often we got a chance to see the Braves play. They at that time were the AAA affiliate for the Atlanta Braves. And a lot of ball players would make the big leagues made their last stop at Richmond. Well, it was a Sunday afternoon game, an early afternoon game. And I was so excited. I remember because we got to eat lunch at the ballpark. And I know that meant hot dogs and a soft drink, maybe some Cracker Jack or roasted peanuts. Well, I remember Dad and I had settled into our seats, pretty good seats on the home field side. And then the game began. I think it was against the Toledo Mud Hens. Well, the first inning, the Braves pitcher walked the first batter, then the second batter, hit the third Mud Hen batter on the back, and the fourth one, well, he hit a grand slam. Before the first inning would end and the pitcher be pulled, he'd given up seven runs. It was seven to nothing. Well, Braves went up and went down, one, two, three. The second inning really wasn't any better than the first for the Braves. In fact, the Mudhen scored seven more runs. It was 14 to nothing by the second inning. Then I looked at each other, and when the Braves went down one, two, three again, we had this sinking feeling inside. The Braves were going to lose. The game was effectively over in the second inning because teams don't come back from 14 to nothing. I think you could feel it in the ballpark, too, because throughout the rest of the game, the fans were booing, calling players' names, and disgruntled. You could tell it was not a, a good game. 17 to nothing by about the, the fourth inning. I'd quit eating my hot dog a long time ago, never opened the peanuts or the Cracker Jacks, maybe drank a few sips of my drink. Just a terrible feeling to have a, a game over with, seems like before it hardly begun. So look forward to it, but so disappointing. Well, I think we left in about the sixth or seventh inning. Didn't even stay for the whole game. It's kind of hard when things are over so quick. When things have gotten so bad and there's really no way out, no way to win. But you know, the good news of Jesus Christ is that's not how it has to be in life. There's a verse that's one of my favorite. You may know it. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. Let me read it for you. It says, If anyone's in Christ, they're a new creation. Behold, the old has passed away. Everything has become new. See, that's the great news of the gospel of Jesus. That in Christ, we, we do get to start over again. I remember thinking when we got home, boy, I wish that game had gone differently. Wished in the, maybe in the first inning, if we knew what was going to happen, we could turn back the clock reset things so things would come out differently. Wasn't much of a game to watch because of the score was so bad. The outcome seemed obvious. But life isn't like that for us. Because of Christ's forgiveness, then no matter what we've done, there's forgiveness to cover it over. Again, forgiveness doesn't change the past, but it creates new possibilities of the future allows us to become something more than what we were. We are not a failure. In Christ, we're a new creation. We're not old dogs. We can, we can learn new tricks. And that's good news, isn't it? No matter what the score in life is, if any person is in Christ, there's, there's a new creation. There's something taking place. And it can start any day at any time. That game ended terribly. But because of Christ, life doesn't end that way for us. No matter what the score is, no matter how badly I've played or what I've done or haven't done, God's grace says, it's a new day tomorrow. Forgiveness says it's all past, taken care of. You can let go and embrace the future. Life is more because of Christ.
So I don't know what the score is for you in life. I don't know how you're experiencing the, the game of life. I know in baseball, there's really no do-overs. You can't really start over again. But in Christ, we can. If anyone's in Christ, there's a new creation. Something new is taking place. Behold, the old's passing away. That's not who you are. The new has come. That's who you're going to be. In Christ, it's something wonderful. Each and every day. Thanks be to God indeed. And that's an encouraging word for today and every day.